Hi boys and girls, welcome to Art with Mrs. Dickerson. I'm here with my son Jack and we're going to be drawing Woody from Toy Story today. So this is Woody, this is our reference. And we're going to be using markers, a Sharpie to draw with and markers to color in. Okay, so let's get started. So here we go. Everybody get your marker out, your black marker. And we're gonna draw the head first, okay? So the head is gonna be a U shape and it's gonna go like that. So everybody make a U for the head. He has a U, here's Woody, he has a U-shaped head, right? A big chin, kind of. And then we're gonna put the eyes in. So let's draw the eyes, one eye and then the other. Okay. And then we're gonna put the pupils in there. I'm gonna make them black with like a little, see if you can make some white in the middle. They kind of go like that, there we go. Yeah, it's cute, Jack. Okay, we're gonna give Woody um, eyebrows. Okay, a nose. Okay, and then we're just gonna make a simple smile like this, I think this time. There we go. Yeah, great. Okay, good. Now for his hat, we're gonna, uh, let's make this one up a little. We're just gonna, Go like this all the way across the top of his head. All right, like that. Okay, and I'm gonna just curve it up a little on the sides and go back across like that. And we're gonna do the upper part. This is his cowboy hat. And he has like a brim going like that. Good, okay, good. All right, now we have to put his ears. His ears are right across from his eyes. Okay, my ears are kind of funny. And then we're gonna put his hair. We're gonna just draw his hair. His hair is kind of like this. I'm gonna color that in later, yeah. Good, good, all right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work down his body. We're gonna put his bandana on. He's wearing a red cowboy bandana, sort of like that. And we're gonna make his shirt. So his shirt is just gonna go like that. Not too big, yeah. Yeah, that's good, Jack. Perfect, perfect, okay. And I'm gonna give him a collar. He has a little collar on his shirt, so see if you can do that. Make a V, upside down V, and then go back. Hmm. That's good, and he has some buttons. Couple big buttons in the middle. Okay. And we're gonna make one hand uh, going up in the air. He's waving. So it's gonna be like that. He has his shirt on. Okay. And I'm gonna put his hand. His hand's like a mitten, a thumb, and then a hand like that. Kind of waving at us. Okay. There's a button on his cuff. And then his other hand is going to be going down and down. It's sort of like one hand up, one hand down. And this one has his cuff too. And same thing, the mitten. It's kind of the mitten hand down here. Let's see if there's some catch up. Okay, so he's looking at us. And we're going to put his belt. Okay, his belt buckle. And then he has, one thing about him, he has this, sh this holster here. So we're gonna add that holster on the side. It's just gonna go like this. This is empty, there's nothing in it though. All right, now his, his pants, we're gonna do like this. Watch, we're gonna make a circle like that. And then we're gonna go down, down, down. His both legs are like that. Yep. Okay. And then we're gonna put boots on him. So his boots are gonna go like this. Let's see if you can just do a simple boot like that. Yeah, that looks good, Jack. The way he made it in the middle is good. I'll make my other boot like that. There we go. Good. 
glue those boots. Yeah, and he has spurs on the back, so you can make them sticking out if you want. For his horse, right? Yeah, there we go. Good, okay. And let's see, I'm gonna just put his knees in here. You don't have to if you don't want to, but they kind of look like that on the actual one on the show. Kind of where he bends his elbows and his knees. Now, one thing we haven't added here is the vest. See that he has that little vest on? So that's kind of his signature vest. So let's add that on. So it's just gonna be a shape like this and a shape like that. And then they have like cow shapes on them. Just make some little shapes on his vest. Color those in later. Okay, so now there we have Woody. So now we're gonna color him in, all right? So I put all the markers out that we're gonna need and maybe we'll use orange first. We'll get his shirt colored in. So first, his shirt, see how his shirt is plaid? It's like an orange with a red stripe or like a red, you know. We're gonna, so we're gonna color his shirt in first orange. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do. It's actually like a gold or yellowish gold. Yeah, the color that Jack has is a better color. Yeah. More of a yellow than an orange. This color isn't right. But... And if you drew the buttons, leave the buttons white. Don't color those in. The collar gets is orange. Okay, so we have our orange. So the next thing we have to do is we have to take red and we have to make the plaid line. So that just goes like this. And then we just kind of do like that just to give like a feeling. He's sort of like wearing a plaid work shirt. Jack's will probably work better than mine. Show up better. This plaid or you want to use this one, Jack? Yeah. yeah, that red's not working. My markers are getting dried out. Oh, that's better. Yeah, yeah, take your time. His, his is good, the color is much better on his, more realistic to the real Woody. That looks good. And then you want to color his bandana in since you have the red. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll let Jack color his bandana. I'm making the pants blue. Yeah. And we're going to make the boots. Um, brown. So maybe we'll, we'll each choose to take a brown and we'll make the boots. And then maybe the spur will make yellow. Maybe that whole stripe would be nice yellow. Right? I colored one side of my brown, but. I think it might be cuter. This is gold. That's gold. I'm just going to go right over mine. That's okay. One's a little darker than the other. That's okay. Maybe I'll make it. You know, just make it look a little better. There we go. And I'm going to make my belt buckle gold, so I'll let Jack make his gold. Yeah, your spurs and your what is a spur? The spur is if they want the horse to run, they push it into the horse a little bit to hurry him along. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so we're gonna do um, brown for the belt. Okay. And brown for the holster. Yeah, it looks like Woody, right? And then we're gonna do the hat. And then we'll switch browns. Mm -hmm. I only have two shades of brown here. Good, all right, let's switch. Yeah, you use that, I'll use this. Yep. We're almost done. I'm just gonna do the band on his hat and his hair. So, yeah, you can see my markers are getting a little dried out over here. <laughs> That's okay, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah. A little hair there. Yeah. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do is his vest. So it's like a cow print. So you can use either the black Sharpie or the black marker, but I'm just going to color in the black spots because it's like a cow. It's supposed to be like a cow hide vest. Here's our vest. And then the la very last thing I wanted to do. And if you have one, I have a pencil that's sort of like a skin tone. I'm just going to give his skin so it's a little bit. See, Woody it looks a little bit. So I put a pencil there for Jack, too. I'm just going to, if you have it at home, so leave his mouth and his eyes white. But just to kind of give it a little extra zip, I'm going to do his hand, hands in his face. If you have a nice um, beige marker, you could use that too, but I didn't have one. Or a crayon, you could use a neutral crayon that might work too, right? great <laughs> fantastic jack yeah look how they're so cute right they're so different but they're so cute they both look like woody right how cute is that great so we have to sign our names so name in the corner anywhere you want Okay, boys and girls, thanks for joining us. Jack and I had a lot of fun drawing Woody, and they both have a lot of personality. They're different, but they both look like Woody, right? So thanks for joining me, and send me your pictures of Woody in my email box if you want to. I love getting them.